Okay, so I wanted to welcome everyone to um, our Inner Beauty Leader video series. Um, so excited. I had this inspiration uh, to really showcase other quiet leaders and, and help spread the message of inner beauty. I am a, my name is Jennifer Don Gaviola, and I'm also a introvert. I just realized that really honoring your quiet voice and honoring the beauty that you have already in you is the source of your power. And so I really wanted to help support other leaders, other quiet leaders to really share their quiet voice and then make their big impact. Because just because you're quiet doesn't mean that you don't have power. It's just, it's a different form of power. It's like, to me, it's concentrated power. So um, I'm really excited today to be interviewing one of my good friends and she's such a beautiful, beautiful soul. Her name is Candice Struther and she is the owner of Queen Life. Uh, she'll be sharing a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, but I'm just so excited that she's here and we'll be sharing more about how she uses her voice and her uh, perspective on, on inner beauty. Because so that's really our purpose today, is to really help support you, um, know that you're not alone and the beauty that you have within you, that will never go away. And that's what people wanna see that you confidently like share your light and just, just own it because that's why you're here. Okay, so let's get started. So Candice, so happy you're here. Good morning, I'm honored to be here with you, Jen. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Oh, you're welcome, I'm really happy. You're the, the first one in this series. Wow, I'm number really, one. Number one, number one. <laughs> So why don't you just tell a little bit about yourself personally and then how you got started with Queen Life. Sure. My name, is, as you said, is Candace Strother, and I am the founder of Queen Life, Inc. I started Queen Life with the motivation of wanting to empower women to view themselves as the queens that they are. And basically, we are a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and we specialize in workshops, providing information on financial literacy, self-esteem, and career development. That's awesome. Thank you. When did you get started? Not very long ago. I've had the vision for a while, probably for a few years, but I really start moving forward in that last year. So May of 2014 was pretty much the official date that I decided to take action. And what was it that really like motivated you to say, yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this? It was time. I felt like me personally, I wanted so much more in my life. I felt like I had so much potential, but it wasn't being used um, at my job. It wasn't being used personally. So this really allowed me to express myself. And I've always felt like I had a queendom. It's about just really wanting to put self-esteem on the forefront because I see how important it is with women and, you know, just meeting women with self-esteem that wasn't very high and just wanting to create that overall balance for myself, for other women, so we can collectively come together for goals. I really love that you said that. I got goosebumps as you were talking. Oh, wow. <laughs> because I really feel like it's so needed that women support other women. You know what I mean? Definitely. Just because you may be doing something similar doesn't mean that you have to be threatened by, you know, someone else. Because we, I really believe in my heart, we can rise and then rise with other people. You know what I mean? Like, someone else's light can't take anything away from yours because yours is yours. You're, you're born with that, you know? It's your birthright to know that you are a queen and... I feel like Queen Life is a platform for people to live out their purpose. You know, we have so much that we can do that we don't necessarily tap into. So this is a starting point for me. And I really want to encourage other women to go forth. If you have a vision, a goal, move forth with it. Start where you are. Yes, start where you are. And not to feel like you have to figure it out or be perfect. Because yeah. that's, that's also um, a motivating factor of why I want, I'm so passionate about spreading the message of inner beauty is because it's just about being present and honest. You know what I mean? Like perfection is really this illusion we try to like hold up ourselves up to, but it's, it's not really, it's not real. When you actually connect with yourself and then connect with another, another human being, 
that's what life is about. Absolutely. And I think with Queen Life, what it stands for is love yourself first every day. You mentioned connections and relationships, but the best relationship that you will have on earth is with yourself. Yes. So it's just realizing your inner beauty and letting that be put out through whatever you're doing, not what you look like, but who are you? Tap into the core of yourself. Yes, the essence of you. Absolutely. Because that essence is infused into everything from your clothes to how you speak to how you act to how you treat people. Yeah. And I feel in your energy, and I feel like it's really. And I think that's also something powerful for introverts as well, is that sometimes we feel like, oh, do we have to talk more or be more louder or aggressive? But it's really about your energy, the energy that you bring towards a moment. That because you don't have to say a lot, people can feel you. You know what I mean? People can feel you. And that, to me, that's your opportunity to, to share your integrity, to share your, your intention. You know, you can't, you can't fool someone with your vibe. <laughs> Yeah, it's very, um, you can see right through it sometimes, you know, sometimes you feel people's energy and they are not aware that it's negative or that they may need to, you know, make some changes within themselves. So well, yeah. we have to start, but first is being aware. Yes, being aware and then we're not perfect and just being forgiving of yourself and of other people. If someone is like rude, yes, on the surface, our ego can be bruised, but beyond that, is pain. You know what I mean? So just taking a step back and, you know, like blessing that person. You don't have to be around them, but just like, you know, everyone is doing the best they can. We yeah. are. We are. And, you know, and just me admitting my imperfections, I'm not perfect. I have pains that I'm still working out, you know, emotional healing that's needed. But I realize that, and it's just about, you know, creating that platform and allowing yourself to be healed, but acknowledging that. Yes. And coming together with other people so you can help them too. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Well, I'm totally feeling this interview. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> so I have a few questions for you. I mean, we've kind of dived in some of these, but okay. uh, let's start with the first two in here. As an introvert, how do you use your quiet voice to make a positive impact with Queen Life? Wow. Very important. Well, First off, I have to be very careful of where I disperse my energy um, because as introverts, we get drained. You know, a lot of things take away from us just really being able to perform at our potential. So with that, I allow other people to be involved. It's a, a team effort. It's not a one woman show with Queen Life. So if they have a passion or a talent or area that they're strong in, I welcome us to all come together. I, you know, delegate tasks and just, you know, of course, just explain and I'm there for support. But I really allow the women that are a part of Queen Life to take reign um, in their own ways. If it's a, a workshop or speaking to youth or financial literacy, let's come together and make it happen collectively. Yes, because ultimately we're all we're all the same. Like we're all connected. I think sometimes right. our ego gets in our head and is like, Oh, so wrapped up in our story. But in the big scheme of life, we're all connected. You know, we are, we are more than we really understand. And we just have to let it flow. Yes, yeah. definitely let it flow and be mindful of the energy that you're, whatever you're focusing on that you're going to actually create more of that. Oh yeah. For Always sure. be mindful of that. Very much so. So with me allowing people to be a part of the movement, it allows me not to be drained. <laughs> I can't do it all by myself. Yes. So my energy is definitely have to be used wisely. Yes. And I, I feel you about the looking at your energy as something that you have to nurture, you know, like creating boundaries where you're like, okay, I do like being around people, but after that, I need to like replenish myself and be like, oh, I need some really downtime, quiet time, not talking to anybody because really I, I'm like that too. It's just, I, I just need to like recharge and I just need that in stillness, you know? Absolutely. Having that balance is so important Yeah, because we're carrying out such big movements. So we have to really pay attention to ourselves too. Yes. And I love that you use the word movement. I, I use that too for dawning soul. And it's like remembering that you're a part of something greater than you. That actually makes it 
um, less scary. That, uh, just speaking from my personal experience, whenever I feel afraid to put myself out there even more, I just remind myself, like, why am I doing this? Yes, it's a gift that's coming through me, and I want to enjoy it. But it's really my life, my testimony is also for other people. Like, me being brave hopefully will allow other women to be brave. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to know how this big movement is going to happen, but just taking one small step at a time and having faith, you know? Definitely. And just being conscious of you just needing to be balanced, like I said. And I keep bringing that up. It's, it's something that just keeps coming to mind because so many of us are spread too thin. Yeah. And we don't really understand why, you know, things don't come together. But sometimes you really have to step back and allow yourself time to heal, to recharge, and to come back even stronger. Yes. Amen. Oh, I love that. Okay, so we'll go to the second question. What is your definition of inner beauty? <laughs> inner? <laughs> no, inner beauty definitely starts from within. Um, and it's really being just yourself, you know, and accepting your uniqueness, accepting things that are quirky about you or, you know, just different or out of the box, but understanding that that's what makes you you and knowing that, you know, if there's some areas that you need to kind of get in order, allow yourself to the time to do that, get the help, seek friends, get that support system. But you know, again, loving yourself, love yourself first every day, meaning, you know, it's not about what you look like on a day that you don't feel so hot, but pulling those in that energy out and just understanding that, you know, I'm beautiful no matter what. And physical beauty fades, but my inner beauty is something that's timeless. Yes. Well, I love it. Um, yes, because the, the core, we talked about this earlier, the core of who you are. Right is infinite, it's timeless, it's really untouchable. And when you do, like some days you may not be feeling it, that's totally fine because we're human, but the days that you actually are feeling it, when you dress yourself and you make yourself, to you, make yourself look like beautiful in your definition, that's actually a celebration. It's not, um, I, I find sometimes women feel like they have to have a mask, like, oh, I have to look like this in order to be accepted. Like you said, accept yourself first. And if people like it, cool. If they don't, that's okay because you like it. Exactly. You know? And how other people feel about you is none of your business. It really matters how you feel about yourself. Yes. Yes. So having that practice every day, just being mindful of how you're actually treating yourself, just being mindful of your thoughts. Sometimes I find just being, having the intention of, you know, God, just please help me to, to be kind to myself today. Because, right. you know, that ego is just like, could be a beast. It's just like, oh, my God, can you just, ah, just stop, you know? Yeah, I understand. You know, sometimes our mind can play tricks on us. So, yeah. so you have to affirm yourself first. Yes, yes, affirm yourself first. Okay. So how do you and Queen Life, your brand, help women express their voice and in inner beauty? Wow, several ways. Number one, I really believe in um, speaking positive over yourself and just really, like I mentioned, affirmations. You know, tell yourself, I'm beautiful, I am strong, I am intelligent, I'm successful, number one, because that inner beauty is so important, as you mentioned. But queen life is about having that connection and that relationship with other like-minded women and just helping those who don't feel so hot about themselves or feel positive and really just showing them that, you know what, we can come together and just really view ourselves as the queens that we are because guess what? That's our birthright. Royalty is not earned. Yes. It's already a part of who you are. Yes. So, you know, whether it's a workshop on self-esteem, whether it's the power of um, positive relationships, it is a platform. It's a forum for you to just have a voice in, you know, no matter if that voice is big or small, there's something in queen life that you can do to make it more meaningful and to just keep the movement alive. Can you explain? 
ex expand a, a little bit more on the term queen? Because I think sometimes, especially like for younger women, but for me, I mean, I, I didn't grow up like thinking, oh, I'm, I'm a queen. You know, it, that took some time, you know? So, and I, I really, when you talk about that, it really speaks to my, my heart because it feels true. You know, even though we don't see that in the media, like you're a queen, it's like, um, I don't see that. But when, when other people say it, you can feel the, the truth in that. So can you expand more on that? Definitely. Um, and you brought up a great point. There's a misconception sometime of a queen just having a crown and living in a palace. And in reality, that's not anybody I know personally. But queen is a state of mind. And you have to really believe that you deserve the best in anything that you do, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a friendship, whether it's just how you treat yourself. You are a queen and you have the power. You have that inner power. You have anything you need to be successful is already in you. And once you understand that, you're living out your purpose. Things are flowing to you a lot easier. You're not trying to create something that's not authentic. Right. But it's really about self-acceptance. Mm-hmm. No comparison. We compare ourselves to media, to whoever, like friends, family. But we have to really understand that everything is perfect for us in timing and just anything that we desire, we can have. Yes. And that's just a part of your queendom, and that's owning it. Yes. I'm fully receiving that, and I hope everyone watching this video really receives that. It's true. You like, just to share a little, um, a personal note, I really, for a long time in my life, I felt like so isolated and I compared myself and because I felt so disconnected from life, that's when I felt like myself like shrinking even more. But when I started to like surrender and go, okay, I can't figure this out myself and allow like God and life to actually work with me. And I was realizing I meant to actually co-create with life. Like life is actually wanting me to to win like to uh, just to believe that that opened up so many um i actually i feel like opened up like my heart personally because i'm like wow i'm actually a part of something i'm not isolated i'm not alone there's other women that really like um love and support me just for who i am i just want you know, people watching this video to, to really remember that you are not alone where even if you really feel that in that in that moment you just have to just know in your being that we're all connected. I agree. I agree. And I think we need to start rehearsing success in our mind. You know, a lot of time we're scared to uh, step out on faith with the fear of failure. But if we start rehearsing, I'm going to win, I'm going to be successful. It's going to work out great. I'm going to have a successful event. Those things are going to happen. Yes. Yeah, giving yourself that space to allow yourself to work like wherever you are I feel like it's important to acknowledge like okay I'm not feeling so hot today so acknowledging is really important too because then then you're like you're you're being honest with yourself like this is what I'm working with and then like like you said it's so important to to be like I know I can head in this direction I don't know how but I feel like I can be supported and you will you'll see evidence like once you decide like life will start shifting things. People, different people will come into your life. Certain people will leave your life. Know what I mean? So it's just like being mindful and being aware of like what's actually happening once you decide. Once you decide that you want better, definitely. And you have to accept whatever happens from there. You've already put the energy out there of you wanting a better life. You wanting to move forward in your purpose and your passion yeah and you just have to let the universe to come together and make it happen yes okay <laughs> so um what would be do you have just maybe one or two like tips that some women can apply today into their life to help them feel like they can honor their voice and really honor their inner beauty yeah um i think the main thing is look in the mirror today and look for one at how beautiful you are. Everything about you is designed originally. Yes. Um, you know, speak 
life into yourself. Wow, you're beautiful. You're intelligent. Again, those affirmations are very important. Or if you feel like you're not, you know, you don't have a lot of time. When you're driving in the car, speak life. Like, I'm going to have a great day. Everything's going to flow no matter what. Yeah, that person cut me off, but that's okay. <laughs> but just understand that everything you go through is to teach you and yes. to make you better. Yes. You know, you may feel like life is going nowhere, but it really is. Like your current situation is just an incubator for you to move forth and for you to really be ready for that next step, that next level. Yes. And I don't like to also add gratitude goes a long way because like I remember going through situations that are just like so difficult that, so, you know, some, some moments you're like, ah, oh, I just want to give up. But like when you just take a moment, take a breath, just take a moment to yourself and, and really ask yourself, what, what is going right for me? Well, I, I have my health. I do have my family. I have a home. I have food to eat. Like if you, once you actually like realize what you have and honor those as real blessings and not things that you just like, oh yeah, I have that. Well, you don't have to have that. We don't even have to have life. Mm -hmm. right? So when you like look at it from that perspective, then everything is a blessing, you know? Everything. And we have to, again, be grateful for it. Yes. Because when, when you're grateful for what you have, life and God will bring you more, you know? The abundance. Yes. Because if, you're, if you don't recognize the blessings that you have, you know, it's not going to be forced upon you to have more. It's just you won't see it when it comes. You won't you won't recognize it, you know? That's true. Block the blessing. I agree. Couldn't agree with you more. I mean, and the things that we take for granted can easily be taken away. You know, I could wake up today or, or whenever tomorrow and just not be able to see. Yes. So it's the little things that we have to say, wow, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Because when you just say thank you in this moment, it shifts your energy. It does. It makes a difference. It does. So that's a very, you know, I appreciate you sharing your tips. And, and like, again, like, just that's a small thing you can do, like, in this moment. Just close your eyes and just be thankful for one or two things. Yeah. Your life, even if you are going through something difficult right now, it's totally normal. Like, it's part of life. There are still it's things in your life. It's always a part of the process. Things happen, happen in cycles. And, yeah. You know, you, you have to really just understand that nothing is permanent. This is all temporary. Yes. Yes. So I feel inspired because you're talking about queen life and like owning your queendom. I want to share a poem called We. And it speaks to like you um, owning your, you being a queen. So let me just grab that here. Okay, so it's called We. I hope y'all enjoy it. I am a queen, no better than you. I see within you what I see in me. Love embodied, God in action. I honor you as I honor me. You and I are we. Love it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause, queen. Round of applause. Love it. Um, that's a spe special poem for all women watching, especially if you're an introvert. Seriously, I just feel like my gut is telling me that God and I are asking other quiet voices to rise up because you having a quiet voice, you have the compassion, the, the intuition, you sense those invisible connections. You're, you're able to sense people's energy deeply and, and be kind and loving. And that's like all, you're able to feel things deeply. And I feel like that's really what the, the world really needs at, at this moment. I feel like life tends to move so fast. And when you're look, looking at life just from a surface perspective, you can get lost. You'd be like, oh my God, what, what, are, what is my life all about? But if you like look beyond the surface and then honor like, the, the, the voice that's inside you that knows the truth, that's really your source of power. So I just encourage you to just really honor that and allow yourself to nurture that each and every day because that's why you're here. You're, you're meant to make a difference. We are. 
And I just want to mention one other thing. Um, it's okay, ladies, to not feel okay. It's really okay. It's really okay. But I think that, you know, it's up to you to get the healing you need and the resources. We're here for you. Queen Life is here for you. Um, there's other resources. There's mental health um, specialists, anybody that is trained. But if you just need to write it down, just get things out. Yeah. Write it down, journal, whatever you feel is the best method for your self-help and your awareness, then that's what you need to do. You know, and I, I just think time goes so quickly. That's one thing we cannot get back. Yeah. So just, you know, using your time first to love yourself, put yourself first. And that way you're a better you for any relationship you may have, for any friendship or just any career or vision that you're a part of. Make sure that you're first and you're healthy and that inner beauty is really, really shining out. Yes. And that, that ultimately then becomes a gift. Definitely. God intended for you to enjoy first. And then the overflow is, is the blessings that you can give to other people. You know what I mean? You can give from this abundant place, not this depleted place. So thank you for being here, Candice. Yeah. So um, I know that I just want to share with everyone that um, uh, Candice regularly features uh, people in her Queen Life movement. And would you like to share your awesome t-shirt? Absolutely. So on Queen Life's website, um, I have a reigning queen. So those queens are just, you know, women that are making a difference in their lives, their personal lives, their families, their communities. And I really just want to give them an opportunity for that, that exposure and, you know, to thank them for doing whatever they do that makes a difference. So they're featured in the Queen Life Tea. Of course, the teas are also sold um, and they go towards the workshops on the website. And um, if you want to just learn more about the movement overall, just go to www.queenlife.org. And um, definitely that allows you to just subscribe and stay posted to any of future, future events that we may have. And um, you have an event coming up, right? Woohoo! The official Party with a Purpose launch of queenlife.org will be April 12, 2015 in Houston, Texas at 20, <laughs> 2201 Preston Street. So again, just, you know, for information on that, subscribe, make sure I have your email. I will happily give you that information because I really would appreciate the support of the movement. Let's keep it going. Wonderful. Awesome. Uh, thank you for being here, Candice. We really, really appreciate your time. You really, um, you set this interview series off. Oh, thank you, Jen, for just your vision and moving forward with this and allowing me to get, you know, you, you are allowing me to be um, on the spotlight. And thank you for giving me that platform. Oh, you're welcome. And for anyone else that would like to learn more about Dawning Soul, you can reach me at dawningsoul.com. And the gift that God gave me is to really help women get clear on their voice and then express that essence into their brand. And because to me, your brand is really about, and it's an extension of you. It's your calling. And so as you can see with Candace, uh, Queen Life is really it's not something that she created, she manufactured. This is actually an extension of her as a being. So that's why I want to just encourage you just to know that you're here for a divine purpose. And it's so imperative for you to share it. So if there's anything I can do to help you with that, just visit dawningsoul.com. And my email is info at dawningsoul.com. But look out for um, even more quiet voices um, in this series. We're going to continue sharing the message of inner beauty because it's just, it's so needed. Definitely. Yay! Oh, wait, I have to share it with everyone. I wore this sweatshirt because, in honor of Candace because she's wearing her Queen Life t-shirt. This shirt spells forever. So... To me, it's queen life forever. You are infinite, you are divine. Seriously, believe that. Receive that in your heart. I receive it. I receive it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope everyone enjoyed this video series. And um, be sure to uh, 
sign up at dawningsoul.com so you can learn more about the other series and just just be updated for all the the goodness coming up so thank you Mwah. one queen life baby bye candace love you love you too jen